What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as D365Geek, and today we're talking about Power Automate and the Excel Online Business Connector, and we're going to look at the action, which is update a row. So this action allows you to specify a certain row in your table, and then you can update any of the other columns in that table with anything that you're passing in. So let's take a look at it today. So in Power Automate, I have a manual trigger because I don't need to pass any row data to the action. I just need to trigger the flow. So I can click on new step. Then I can go to Excel Online Business, which is just here. I can search for it in the connectors. I'll choose that. And then we'll go down to update a row. So we'll choose that one. Now we have some required information that we need to pass in here. So the first thing is location. So this is where is your Excel file stored. You can store it in OneDrive for Business. You can store it in your OneDrive. You can store it in SharePoint. Um, in my instance, I'm going to choose my OneDrive for Business. The rest of these are Office 365 groups, which have an associated SharePoint site with them as well. So I'll choose the OneDrive for Business. Next, we'll choose Document Library. Uh, I have two document libraries here for my uh, OneDrive. I'm not really sure why. I'm going to choose the top one. Next, choose the file. So the file here, I'm just going to use the picker. So I'm going to click on the little picker icon, and I can navigate down to my Power Automate folder there and find my flow book there. At this point, it's going to ask me for the table. Now, once I choose the table, something interesting is going to happen. So if I choose this table one, we can now see that it's loaded in the columns in that table. So these weren't there before, and this is the data that's contained inside my table. Um, so I have four columns in my table, name, age, occupation, and AKA. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to now select the column and the key value, the key column, sorry, the key column and the key value. This is the column and the key that we're going to use to differentiate which row we're going to update. So in this instance, I'm going to choose the, I'm going to choose the name, and then I'm going to specify a name in my key value here. So if I go over to my Excel one, uh, my Excel worksheet or workbook. I have names here, so I've got Wally West, John Stewart, John Jones, Diana Prince, Arthur Curry, and Bruce Wayne. In my instance, I'm going to update the first one, I'll update Wally West, and what we'll do is we'll update his age and we'll take a couple of years off his age. So in the key value, we'll type in Wally West, and all that's doing is that's saying, hey, look at the name column, look for Wally West, find that row, and then we're going to update that row. So in this instance, I'm going to update his age to be 27. So he was previously 30, we saw in the spreadsheet. And we're just going to update his, his age. Now, if I leave all of these other fields blank, what it's going to do is it's only going to update his age. So it's not going to blank out the entire row and mess up all your data. It's just going to update the columns that you specify it to update. So that's really important. Uh, we're not going to have to try and get all this data and then populate it each time. We're just going to make some changes to a single column. So we'll test this out. So we'll test, I'll perform the trigger action, we'll save and test. We will run the flow, click done, wait for a second, hold our breath, there we go. Green bar at top, flows run successfully, it's great. Go to here and we can see it's updated this. And we can also see we've still got that other information, so it's, it's pulled back that row again to uh, verify the information that we've got. So Wally West, age 27, friends of scientists, the flash. We also have it in a JSON format here. And if I go back to my workbook, we, see, we can see Wally West, age has been updated, but the rest of that information has stayed the same. So that is how this works. So this is a really handy action if you need to update data in it. In a, in a row sort of thing. So you could potentially have a um, an instance where you want to loop through all of your records, maybe create new records inside another system. So maybe you have leads or something in a spreadsheet. You want to move them to a proper, data, a proper database, maybe put them in Dynamics or CDS. And then once you loop through them, you want to update the rows that you loop through and then update them to say, yes, this one's been, um, this one's been added into um, the database. And that's one, one use you could use for this. So what do you guys think? Is this a good action? Do you use it a lot? What do you use it for? Let me know in the comments down below. 
If you enjoyed this video, if you could like and share it, that would be appreciated. If you've not already, hit the subscribe button to stay up to date with all my latest videos, and I'll see you next time.